Bit of a late night session, but just gonna get these solar panels wired in. Um, I think it goes in tomorrow to get fully wired up, so just bringing through the positive and negative for both the panels through waterproof grommet. So the grommet's gonna sit there, it's gonna come through here, a bit of split tubing, and another grommet's gonna sit there. So there'll be enough. Um, Table, so when you put this down, it'll just tuck up nicely and go down. So mm. You nervous to drill into it? A little bit, but um, should be right. <laughs> we'll get these cables down somehow. Just bring these, these cables in, drill the grommet. So it comes through here, use a bit of polyurethane as well just to stick the grommet in. Just a bit of extra precaution. It has a washer on it anyway. But um, it's hard to see but it's up here and then these are going to go in, bit of split tube behind this, behind the gas strut and then go into another grommet just here. I won't be able to see it but I'm just pulling it through and then um, for now. Just putting in a piece of support timber. Inverter's going to sit there. Probably somewhere there. And our manager 30. Sit on the side here. Sweet. Like that, and then got a Bantech fuse block. Sit on the side, so everything can run through there. It's a fuse, it's a 12 point fuse in earth block, so everything can run in and out of that, apart from you know anything high currents like 50 amps and uh, 30 amps and above. And then uh, we have our little red arc screen above behind my head here. And oh yeah, so these are our solar panel cables that's come up through the roof. Did that. Drilled into it, sir. Drilled into it, hidden it all up here, just gotta put the plate back in. It's coming through, so that goes into our manager 30, and then we've got our big 200 amp uh, lithium battery um, in there skewed. Yeah. It's not going nowhere. <laughs> all ready for tomorrow. It's getting all, all the electrical done. All getting wired up tomorrow, so should be pretty neat. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> It's a late night though, what time is it? Yeah, my, my touch is dead. <laughs> it my is. watch is dead. It's 11 o'clock. Yeah, 11 o'clock. On Tuesday night. Yeah. <laughs> and we're we'll meant to be going to the gym tomorrow at 5 30. I don't think we'll be going. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> oh well. Worth it. See you guys. Morning, guys. So last week we got the car back from Audio Tech, so they did a fair bit of work. Um, wired up all our battery system. I did the solar panels down just because I wanted them to route it how I wanted to route the cables as you can see. So when the alley cab shuts, it folds in and it's a bit difficult. They wired some lights up, some solar panel points, um, our BMS, Red Arc, the inverter, uh, some door pods. We actually have some nice speakers now, which is awesome reverse camera and um, an isolator switch. So this is what we got done here. It's a bit mess because I'm working on it today. So we've got the manager 30 um, and the display panels here. The um, 2000 watt inverter. So we were in the Renergy and then the 200 amp uh, Renergy battery fuse block. Got all the, the lights wired in. So we've got side lights, rear lights. All the driving lights you can see there on at the moment, the Alpine door pods and speakers. And then got the, the rear bar all wired up as well. As well as a reverse camera, but don't like where we put the reverse <laughs> yeah. camera. I've already hit it about 10 times. So the, the bracket's already damaged. So I'm gonna get that moved or I'm gonna move it myself um, to a better location. Cause when you step up, step up here to hit it so not the best spot but 
still happy with all the work done. Um, finally, now we're gonna hook into getting the inside done. So just cut this panel. So we mitered it. Um, so you can see there, got two little storage compartments underneath. That will just have flap doors down. Some reach and grab stuff. That one's just gonna be mainly for my tools. So we're not gonna really get to it. That's the best thing. So yeah. it's a tight fit. But it's, a, it's a tight fit, but for up there, it works perfect to just hide all my tools in there. I'm not gonna be pulling them out, hopefully, too often. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how we go. And then <clears throat> this one's gonna be for <clears throat> pots and pans. Um, because we'll be cooking here, so you can just reach in, grab whatever you need, and pull it out. The fridge is in. Um, is it plugged in? It's not plugged in yet, but we can plug it in the plugs just under the bench area. So that's an Anderson plug. So I've just got to cut the old cigarette lighter off and put an Anderson plug on, but that's easy. And then I'm just going to cut this panel now, and then we can put it on. Just going to miter it and cut it. Um, try, try run it as nicely down the side as possible like kind of like this one a bit hard to get it exactly perfect but it's getting there it's getting there there yeah and the next thing is to build this box yeah and then we're really storing our camp chairs at the moment <laughs> and then sort the under sink part yeah and then sort that out hmm. you happy with everything yeah yeah it's good the rebar i'm really happy with the rebar yeah. That's good. And all the wiring was done well. And yeah, all the wiring is done really well. Happy, happy as with it. Happy with these flush mount, um, yeah, flush nice. mount lights. So they're light forks, just on a thirty degree angle. Um, they're absolutely, you know, they're smicking. They they work really, really well. Mm. They probably look the best. I didn't want to go something ugly, little light bar or something like that. And it matches our front lights, which are light force as well. Happy eyes with her. Yes. So here are the fabrics that we picked out for our foam bench seat. It is going to be one of these colours here. So if you can see, this is what we chose. We got five free samples um, from Warwick's fabric. Is that who they're called? So yeah, we're really happy with them. But it's going to be out of these two colours, if you can see. So, so far we are going to go with that one. That's the one we think we like. So I think it will tie in quite nicely with what we have planned over here. So yeah, hopefully we get that in the next week or so. So we'll see. That's the wrong color. I'm just trying to obviously scribe the oh, you can't edge of the tree. So, oh, okay. And I've got a miter here, so I've got to make it exactly perfect on this side um, because these miter to each other to give that kind of finish so the lines keep going straight through just trying to get it exact which is the hardest thing but nearly there a little bit more you stoked or what yeah <laughs> 30 cuts later it literally took you about 25. So, pretty, pretty well cut there. The only thing is a cut. A bit too short. Too short there, but you won't really notice it. I'm just going to paint the bit, other bit white. Yeah, and so then that, that one goes in there. Oh, it looks good. That one just lifts up a little bit. So, it sits like that. Very nice. Very cool. Well, obviously you need to be screwed off, but you get the get the gist. You happy? Yeah.
did that. We are going to sell my car. Don't mind the pressure hose. Because <laughs> we decided there's no point really keeping it. I mean, we don't know how long we're going to be gone. And really, it's just going to sit here for over a year. So, no better time than to just sell it. So, this is gone. And then we also have a Helen bike going up for sale as well. So, yeah. What a pity. It's probably for the best, hey? We don't have to worry about it. Don't have to pay like insurance and stuff like that. City name. Yeah. Keep it rego or... Yeah. So... Time to get rid of it. Hey guys, it's actually late now. It's about six o'clock. So I just decided to do something, do a few bits and pieces. Um, so we put this panel on. Um, just before we did this panel, I wanted to do this one because I've just got latches on the inside. It was going to be easier to access in this way. So all you do is open it up like that. They've just got four catching latches, um, which is actually really strong. Um, we wanted that so you can fully take it off and access it on the inside um, easy so you don't have what, a hinge and it drops down, it's in your kind of way, so you can fully pull it off. So if you're sitting in here, you can pull it out and it's not in your way of hinging down. Uh, this one compartment's going to be for like cooking cooking utensils and stuff like that. Cause like pots and pans. Pots and pans and all that kind of jazz because this is obviously where you're going to be cooking most of the time on our drop down table, as you guys have probably seen. So it makes it easy just to grab stuff out of there. And then the, um, the other compartment, which I'm just doing now, um, will be probably for my tools and stuff. So it's not as easy to get to, but um, hopefully, hopefully, I, won't need it. <laughs> hopefully I won't have to get my tools out too often. So it's a deep. Um, deep storage area so it should fit my tools nicely in there but it's good like um, they work really really well so i'm happy as with the idea like that's them and nice flush looks good hey looks good obviously we're gonna putty up all these screw holes yeah, like we've done this. on this side but we've only just got that in with our fridge um to try and take it off show me what's going on there so i find it a bit hard to take off but Whoa, that's hard. <laughs> I don't think anything will fall out of there, hey? No. So oh, just yeah. little storage compartments. Uh, one there. It's pretty deep. One up the back there, you kind of can see. You've got tools in there at the moment. Yeah. Now to put that panel on, and then we've also got a panel at the back that we're gonna sheet over that. So then all this V groove all wraps around the side, wraps all the way around the front. Looks all the same. It'll match. It'll It'll match. Good. Got this one off. We're going to actually going to cut one for there because we've got some leftover ply, uh, and then let's do the kitchen up the back there. We're nearly reckon? there. We're nearly, nearly there. there. It's mm. very exciting. Hey. Had the fridge cranking before. It's good. Yeah. I'm it happy as cold well. too. Yeah. 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 Another afternoon after work. I've been working today and doing a few things. So we obviously did this one yesterday. Put this one on. Now, um, want to do that one. But <laughs> the hard part is I've got to be upside down in there to try and screw the mounts up. Luckily, I did this one when this was open so I could get the drill in there and drill it upside down. So I've done three of them. <laughs> what a nightmare that was. I nearly passed the hour being upside down. So I just got one more to do, so um, comes out now. But got one more to do, which is this one. So hopefully I can get in there and do it. <laughs> this is some quality entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So this is how Callum has to be positioned to be able to screw it. Is it screw it? Drink? Both. Not ideal, huh? <laughs> Where is it, the mount? What do you mean?